Welcome back to Apocalypse Here. On today's Scholar Spotlight, we'll be talking about Catherine Tanner. Catherine Tanner is the Frederick Marquand Professor of Systematic Theology at Yale Divinity School. She received all of her higher education degrees from her BA to PhD from Yale University. Uh, Tanner joined the faculty at Yale in 2010 after teaching for 15 years at University of Chicago Divinity School. Tanner's interests and research ranges from the history of Christian thought to contemporary theological issues using social, cultural, and feminist theories. Uh, some of her monograph titles include Christ the Key, Jesus, Humanity, and the Trinity, A Brief Systematic Theology, The Politics of God, Christian Theologies, and Social Justice, and most recently, Christianity and the New Spirit of Capitalism. She's published numerous articles and book chapters, including in the Oxford Handbook of Systematic Theology. But today we're going to focus on a topic from her now classic book, God and Creation in Christian Theology, Tyranny or Empowerment topic we're going to be talking about is the concept of non-competitive or non-contrastive agency. Now, especially since the Reformation, the question of the relationship between the human will and agency and God's will and agency has been premised on a basic philosophical mistake, that human and divine agency are in a kind of zero-sum either or competitive relationship with each other because they're on the same plane of being. And talk about it as the same ontological plane. Over against this way of conceptualizing things, Tanner offers a non-competitive or non-contrastive account of agency. God and humanity are not opponents in a zero-sum game. To claim that they are is actually to misunderstand transcendence and the transcendence of God, who created the universe out of nothing. And this misunderstanding places God on that same plane as creatures. And this really obliterates any coherent account of the integrity of creaturely freedom, or even of moral responsibility. In fact, the nature of divine transcendence is such that God is the cause of all things in such a way that creaturely freedom and genuine contingent human action are themselves generated by divine causality. Divine grace doesn't destroy human freedom, but is the source of it. It enables it, it sets it free, and sustains it, allowing it to flower and flourish. Now, it should be said that a non-competitive account of agency is uh, anything but new. You can find it in Thomas Aquinas, Augustine, Gregory of Nyssa, Maximus the Confessor, Anselm, and many others. It's just that now this approach is being conceived outside of the bounds of Thomism in particular, and Tanner is probably the most prominent contemporary theologian to popularize it, especially in her God and Creation in Christian theology. So Tanner grounds her account of agency primarily in the doctrine of creation out of nothing, creatio ex nihilo, although we see it with particular clarity in Jesus Christ, in whom divine and human are completely non-competitive, without mixture or confusion, right, and without minimizing one or the other. So according to Tanner, for God to be truly transcendent in relation to creation, divine agency in the world must be understood to be, quote, universal and immediate, such that Quote, everything non-divine must be talked about as existing in a relation of total and immediate dependence upon God. End quote. It follows directly from this that divine agency does not operate on an identical plane of being and existence as creaturely agency. Quote, a God who transcends the world must not be characterized by direct contrast with it. A contrastive definition of agency will show its failure to follow through on divine transcendence by inevitably bringing God down to the level of non-divine, to which it is opposed." End quote. In other words, God is not a being among other beings, and so can't be viewed as either restricting himself or overriding human agency in God's relations to creatures. Rather than this, a non-competitive approach says that it is only in God's utter transcendence that God is most present. With God's creatures. If we were the same as God on the same ontological plane or plane of being, then God's closeness would seem to encroach on our agency. We'd have to kind of introduce this competitive account. It's only when conceiving of agency in non-competitive terms that we can really say, like St. Augustine, God is closer to me than I am to myself. 
Now to explain non-competitive agency in a different way, I like to use an example from theologian and musician Jeremy Begbie, who's a research professor of theology at Duke Divinity School, and he also directs Duke Initiatives in Theology and the Arts. In an essay in this book, Music, Modernity, and God, called Room of One's Own, Begbie uses the musical concept of resonance to show how two tones can mutually resonate with one another without erasing each other. Quote, if I play a middle C on a piano and open up the string an octave above by silently depressing the appropriate key, the upper C will vibrate. The upper C has been provoked to sound through sympathetic resonance. The more the lower string sounds, the more the upper string sounds. The tones we hear are not in competition, nor do they simply allow each other room. The lower string, so thank God here, establishes the upper, frees it, so we are the upper string, frees it to be itself, enhances it without compromising its own integrity, end quote. So switching to musical and sonic metaphors helps us see just what non-competitive agency can look like. God is this lower string, and we are the string that resonates with it. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do that and leave a like on this video as well. If you're interested in joining our Patreon, go to patreon.com slash apocalypse here to support us in that way. And with that, this has been Apocalypse Here, Christianity you can live with.